Well, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever place it is that you're tuned on to the Life Signatures Radio. It's a daily show, and on this show we talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience. We always deploy this using a series of messages, and uh, every series has a particular topic that we talk about until we exhaust it. I love doing series because they help us to go 360 degrees on a particular issue, on a particular matter. We talk about the why, the when, the what if, and so on, and we go 360 degrees on a particular matter. In this series, we are talking about six reasons as to why COVIDX is marked in the middle of purpose pursuit. COVID a drug that was invented by Ugandan professor Patrick Ogwang of Mbarara University smack in the middle of the COVID pandemic and it has helped cure very many people of their COVID-19 infections and in addition to that you know what it's done it's also helping us to cure flu common cold within hours I kid you not, within hours. All right, so let us look at one reason as to why I do believe that COVID X is smack in the middle of purpose pursuit. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Today is going to be short and sweet, and let me just start by doing a recap. The reason number one as to why COVID X is smack in the middle of Papa's pursuit is uh, Papa's is always about others. I don't want to belabor that. Number two, your Papa's is always around you. Look carefully around you. What you're holding in your hand, or what you're ignoring, or what is just around you as a hint, it is not fully formed. But that's the key. That's the root. That's the wrong. Number three, the reason as to why COVID X is smacking them the purpose pursuit is purpose needs refining raw information. <laughs> Number four, we talked about this yesterday. Purpose discovery is an incremental journey. I don't want to belabor that. So you can actually go back to the previous episodes and you review each and every one of those points that I've just mentioned because each of them has been deployed in their respective episodes. Today, number five, the penultimate episode on this series where we're talking about why i believe papas is smack in the middle of i mean covid x is smack in the middle of papas deployment number five papas convergence is always through serendipity i tell you i can i can preach this for a month of sundays that keyword serendipity in fact that's why i wrote a whole chapter a whole chapter in Papa's Discovery called Convergence. You know what Convergence is? It is not a miracle. It is not a, a happening that is discoordinated. Serendipity has things in place. It has capacity on one hand and then it has opportunity on the other, and then it has the right timing. In fact, the key thing about serendipity or serendipitous um, occurrences is that we don't necessarily may, may not have control over them. We might not even have planned them. We don't plan them. Let me tell you how they discovered Viagra. 
they were testing a drug a particular disease i've forgotten the exact disease what it was i've forgotten what it was and then they had this test group that they gave that particular drug totally different it wasn't about sexual enhancement totally different a totally different ailment so they asked this test group will you please bring the remainder of the drugs and they refused so when they subtly started asking what happened they found that the side effects of using this drug is increased sexual performance for men who had lost it serendipity they never planned to discover it and they discovered viagra through serendipity That's the same thing that happened to Covidex serendipity pure serendipity I have said again and again over these episodes this man professor Patrick Ogwang never set out he never had a goal I'm going to discover a cure for covid-19 never it was about chance it was about timing it was about the capacity that he already had so one day professor Ogwang asked this american doctor I have I've said this over and over again to come over to Uganda to help him with research. He never knew that at the time he was asking this guy the whole world would be shut down with COVID-19. In the process that doctor contracted coronavirus and was badly off. So badly off and he was hooked on to oxygen. So Professor Ogwang felt responsible and sad about the situation and started asking for answers and then he said he prayed at that time it occurred to him that covid-19 was a virus and that the chemical compound he had created had the capacity to fight viruses he had already created something he had already created something he had already created something i mean he had already created something for covid but he didn't know it was for covid <laughs> He asked his doctor friend to head over to Southwest Uganda and they administered administer this compound in addition to other medicines at the hospital. In 3 days. You know people were getting healed in 7 days or something like that and some will die. But in 3 days within 3 days set record for someone who was hooked on oxygen. In 3 days the American doctor was discharged. This intrigue doctor, I mean uh, Professor Guang so much He discovered that the coronavirus could be handled at the same nose and throat and uh, uh, he he discovered that the coronavirus could be handled at the nose and the throat and considerably weakened by its formula before it can make its way to the gut. Another doctor with COVID-19 got wind of what was happening and asked for the dosage. It worked. That was in December 2020. However, the virus seemed to have disappeared from Uganda and so Professor Gwang forgot about the formula. In that month, in that particular time, it was actually in March that one of the people he had been supplying with drugs called desperately in need of something for COVID-19. Someone had contracted it. That's when he remembered the project he had done and he started to reboot it. He issued instructions remotely to people working in his lab and they created the drug that was hastened to the patient who was hooked on oxygen also within 2 days that patient was off oxygen voila now that is how covid was born pure serendipity today it sold over billions of uganda shillings you see your purpose will converge on you through serendipity it's through chance it's an opportune time however serendipity never happens without input it never ha- happens for those who are not doing anything about anything it needs some material it needs some time it needs something you need to be doing something for serendipity for serendipity to work on your purpose you got to be doing something you got to be somewhere doing something That's when you get your chances increased. You have to be in motion with the hints of purpose that you already have today like we've already been sharing that there are hints already around you. You've got to use those hints that you you have. Do something. 
you might not see the whole staircase like Martin Luther King Jr. said. You might not see the whole staircase, but just climb. Just just climb. Just go up. Slowly but surely, just keep going up. You never know. Serendipity needs that motion, that momentum. It needs an opportune time. It needs a problem. So keep doing what you're doing. And don't give up on it. You never know. Tomorrow we'll come to a close of this series. We've been learning about purpose, pursuit, and why COVID X is smack in the middle of purpose, pursuit. But until then, bye bye, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.